Well, now that we understand virtual condition, I can really show you the benefits of a concept called zero tolerancing at MMC. So here we have two parts going together, pretty simple. A is going to be our face. We have a pin that needs to be sized correctly and then be perpendicular. The mating part, same thing, face is A, and the hole has to be sized and made perpendicular. To see if these parts will fit together, we want to analyze the virtual conditions of the two parts. So let's quickly do those calculations. Biggest pin plus, 1 inch 2 plus 2, gives you a 1 inch 4 virtual condition. And do the same thing on this one. Opposite, smallest hole, 1 inch 6 minus 2 thou, gives you that same virtual condition, 1 inch 4 thou. Now the example 2 tolerance is a little different though. Instead of sizing it 2 thou for size and 2 thou for perpendicularity, it adjusts the size tolerance to give 4,000 size and zero perpendicularity. Okay, so let's look at the virtual conditions. What's the virtual condition of the pin? Biggest pin plus, that'd be one inch four. What's the virtual condition of the hole? Smallest hole minus, that'd be one inch four. So both of these parts will fit together with worst case clearance of zero, line to line fit at their worst case. So if both of them would work in the assembly, which one should we put on the drawing? Well, which one gives more manufacturing tolerance? Well, let's analyze the top one. The top one, you have a size of MMC, which is one inch two, and that's where you get the two thou perpendicularity. Now, as the pin gets smaller, then you get bonus tolerance. You would get three, and then you would get four. So notice that this pin plus two, or this pin plus three, or this pin plus four, would all give you that virtual condition one inch four. Now let's look at our example two, where now you're taking the one inch four as your MMC size and give it a tolerance zone of zero. That gives you a one inch four virtual, this plus this, one inch four virtual, one inch four virtual. So same virtual condition. However, manufacturing likes the second one. Example two gives you more size tolerance. This one gives you a plus or minus two on the size where the earlier one gives you a plus or minus one on the size. Example one forces you to take some of the size tolerance to give it perpendicularity, where the example two says, here's four, do whatever you want with it. If manufacturing was gonna shoot for a number, what would they shoot for on example number two? Because you try to aim for a size, right? You want to plug into your CNC machine. So what would you aim for? Probably the middle number, one inch, two thou, and you would get a size tolerance of plus or minus two. Or this one, you would aim for a one inch one and only give you plus or minus one. So which one would manufacturing rather build? The second example. Now at first it looks scary when you see the zero and you're like zero tolerance, you can't make that. You can because it's zero at MMC. So at worst case, you have to be perfectly perpendicular, but as that pin gets smaller, you can pick up that bonus tolerance. And that's pretty nice for how you manufacture the part too, because how are you gonna cut this? Probably on a lathe? and you're gonna cut the face at the same time as you cut the pilot. Are you gonna have a problem with perpendicularity? No, I need size tolerance. So the more size tolerance you can give, the better it would be for manufacturing. So example two allows a greater size tolerance while maintaining the same perpendicularity and the virtual conditions. So zero at MMC can be a really cool concept. We use it on perpendicularities. We also use it on round turn shafts. We're trying to keep things centered as well. Interesting idea.